Hi, my name is Div Harish. Uh, I'm from Lodestar Sensors and I'm here to tell you about a very exciting product, um, Control View. So far, you know, we have been selling pressure sensors and torque sensors and displacement sensors, all you could connect through USB or wireless and go to a PC to measure the sensor uh, data, to look at the sensor data. But today I'm announcing that we have a new software called Control View, which not only gets all the sensor information into the PC, but you can also use the PC to control a motor or a relay or a valve or other kinds of devices. So you can get input from the sensors and use the PC to control outputs and actuators, and motors and valves and so forth. You can also, from the PC, use the sensor values and generate alerts uh, via either email or SMS, you know, over the cloud. So you can use this as a a control and monitoring system and solution. Now let me show you how we have actually implemented it here. Now we have our PC in the middle here, um, and I'm, I'm showing you, this is one of our uh, force or load sensors. In this case, it's the RSB3 load cell. It's got a threaded stud on top. We put a tension adapter on the bottom and put a leveling feed, which can be removed, you know, for very versatile applications. So, so here's a sensor and we can put a leveling foot to use it for various applications. This sensor has been connected to our DI1000 USB load cell interface and it's hooked up to our USB hub here. So that's our force sensor path. Here's a torque sensor that we sell and this torque sensor can be used to apply and measure torques. This is also connected to another DI1000U and goes into the USB hub. And from the hub, we go into the PC. So all of this we've been doing through our load view, sensor view product so far. What is new is the control view. What you see here is a motor. You can see this is a servo motor. We are powering this motor from a 24 volt power supply. But this motor is connected to the PC through another USB port here. So, so the sensors are used as an input and the motor is our output in this particular application. So now let's take a look at the software and how it works. So when you start it up, the control view software goes and detects all the devices connected to it. And so in this case, we have force and torque sensors connected to it. And you can see the, you can see the actual values here, as well as the peak and low values for each of the sensors, right? So, so you can get the values from the sensor and you also, since we have the motor working here, we are showing you the angle of the motor to show that the motor is actually working. And you can use this program to actually control, you know, how you want the motor to move. You want to go from zero to 180 degrees, and we are asking it to repeat. Uh, so go between zero to 180 and keep doing it over and over again is what we have asked it to do here. Now let me just show you a couple of things here. In, in here, you can see, you can not only view the data, but you can also log the data so you get, you can say which file it should go to and how often you should log it and you get a timestamp. You know, here's the force information, the motor information and the torque information. You can also do individual plots, for example, here. So this is a force versus time plot. I'm going to apply a force here now. So I'm pushing down on it. That's compression force. When I pull up on it, it goes into the tensile force. So, so you can see that I can get force versus time plots here. Now let's look at torques. So here's the torque versus time chart. And now I'm applying a clockwise torque on it. And you can see I'm applying about two or three uh, foot pounds on it. And I'm going the other way now. And you can see that I can see the torque versus time plot here. Similarly, the angle. So it's going between 0 and 180 degrees, you know, uh, repeatedly and repeating. And you can also do all of them at the same time if you want. So here's force, torque, as well as angle all at the same time. So as you can see, you know, we can measure forces, torques, angles, as well as turn a motor on and off. Um, so we made it really easy for you to build a control system and use it flexibly for your various applications. So. Please uh, you know, check us out, take a look at lodestarsensors.com and give us a call. We'll be very happy to work with you. Thank you very much.